Hello everyone, you're watching the Green Dream Project. Jim here, again, I know. <laughs> and I'm sure by now everyone's sick of me talking about digging post holes and posts and, and all that. I understand. <laughs> How many videos can you do about digging post holes? I could probably do quite a few actually. <laughs> but I want to talk today a little bit about how I'm putting together the frames. I wanted to make these out of solid pieces of two by four. I got some fairly large uh, two by fours, cut them to the length and width of the um, solar panels. And basically I should be able to fit exactly six panels for each, for each frame. And I'll put this together right now. I'll uh, show you how I'm doing it. So this right here is my 10 foot length of 2 by 4 and this is going to be on the side close to the post. These boards were 12 foot boards that I cut down to 10 feet 10 inches. Compensates for the length of the 2 by 4 is on the uh, other side and it should fit the panels perfectly. Now I'm just uh, I'm going to secure each of these at the corner. I'm going to brace it along the sides where the posts are. So I got my little self-driving screws. These things have been real nice. additional 10 foot 2 by 4s that I'm going to put along the sides to help uh, to help support that near the uh, near the pivot points on the post And I just basically hit that like that for the other side. Once those uh, are secure, I got my basic framework. There'll be other boards going across where the panels will be actually be attached to, and there'll be braces on the other side of those boards. I'll show you how that looks when, when the time comes. Sorry, folks. It looks like we didn't have the audio going during this portion of the recording. But basically, I'm talking about how I got my the holes in my post to be level because measuring from the ground up could be two different heights on any post going along that line. But basically I put in screws into the posts and then tied a line in between those screws. And then I just pulled it taut in order to check the level. And I put a little string level in between there, in between the posts, and we'll be able to check to the level right now. And you can see that's right on the money right there. I'm not really sure what I'm saying right here. I kind of forgot at this point, but uh, basically now that uh, I've checked the level and everything looks straight, I'm going to uh, just drill those holes in between those posts. And then I know that my, my frame there should be level, right on the money. So on a side note, we got quite a bit of rain last night. This was uncovered, but everything held up fine. Everything still looks pretty good. And uh, for any water harvesting fans, since we don't have gutter set up, we did set up a little, a quick and easy water harvesting setup. Set up a little pan down here. Got quite a bit of water from that rain from the roof over here. And then I set up some buckets to catch rain from the humanure hacienda. I got a nice little, quite a bit of rain actually. Quite a bit of water. We got quite a bit of water actually from. From the roof runoff.
That should give us a little that should give us a little rain to keep the uh, compost pile moist for a bit. <laughs> All right, so I'm now on to the next phase of the project. I got the frames built and set onto the posts. And I just cut some old two by fours and posts just to prop underneath the uh, frames to uh, give a little support when I start adding the weight of the panels on there. And now I'm just adding uh, boards for the uh, mounting brackets. Got the frames I got the frames up I got the boards up that the panels are gonna mount to I'm ready for the mounting <laughs> stay tuned because it should be really cool thanks for watching I hope uh, I hope you've been enjoying this project please give it a thumbs up don't forget to subscribe comment down below we want to hear from you and as always you can follow us also on Facebook Instagram and Twitter all right thanks a lot everyone <laughs>